this video is about solving trigonometric equations. So here we've got a question, sine x equals 0 0.6. So we can use our calculator to get an answer, and we do that by doing the inverse of sine. So to get x by itself, we do arc sine 0 0.6. So in our calculator, we press shift sine 0 0.6, and to one decimal place, we get 36.9 degrees. So we've got an answer for x, which is great, but it's only one answer. So the calculator only gives you one answer. So where is this graph 0 0.6? So here we've got the graph of sine x, y equals sine x. And you can see it's 0 0.6 here, which is our first answer, but it's also 0 0.6 here, or here or here or here or here and there's actually an infinite number of um, values that x could take that would give us 0 0.6 so we've got one answer from the calculator and we need to be able to get to generate more answers so what we use is well we use a knowledge of the graph so we only need to look at the first 360 degrees because this wave repeats every 360 degrees so we get the same wave every 360 degrees so if we find the two answers within the first 360 degrees we could just add 360 onto them or take 360 off of them to generate more answers so that's the first answer we've got here what's the second answer so we use symmetry. So this distance here, because of symmetry, is the same as this distance here. 36.9 is our first answer. That's the distance here. So this distance is 180 minus the first answer. So 180 minus 36.9, which is 143 point one degrees so the first answer is 36.9 our second answer is 143.1 and then if I wanted to find this next answer here so if I wanted to find this one here that would be 36.9 plus 360 so we'll have 396.9 then if I wanted the next one that would be 143.1 plus 360. So 503.1. And I could do the same thing going backwards. So if I wanted this one here, that will be 143.1 minus 360. And the one before that would be 36.9 minus 360 so i could keep adding on 360 or taking off 360 from both of the two the first two answers from both of those and i can generate every answer for sine x equals 0 0.6 okay so let's look at a cos question now so the first step is going to be the same. We're going to type into the calculator shift cos 0 0.27 and that will give us the first answer. So shift cos 0 0.27 gives us 74.3. So that's the first answer. So we look at the cos graph now. Now again, cos is the same as sine in the it repeats every 360 degrees. So we're just going to look at the first 360 degrees. And we've got 0 0.27. So we've got it there and there. And we're again going to use symmetry. And we're going to say that this distance here is the same as this distance here. Our answer, our first answer there, 
is that distance there. So the second answer for a cos question is 360 minus the answer. So 360 minus our first answer, 360 minus 74.3 gives us 285.7. So there are our first two answers. If I wanted to generate more, which I'm not going to because the question specifically said between 0 and 360. So there's only those two answers between 0 and 360. If I wanted to generate more, I'll just add 360 onto both of them or minus 360 from both of them and I'll get more answers. Okay, let's look at a tan question now. So again, the first step's the same. So shift tan two, that will give us a first answer for X, which is 63.4. So we've got a first answer of 63.4. And then we can look at the graph of tan. And the graph of tan is a bit different, but it's actually easier because the graph of tan repeats every 180 degrees. So all I've got to do is add 180 on. So 63.4 is the first one, adding 180 on, 243.4. And I could keep adding 180 on or taking 180 off to generate more answers. So with 10, we just have to add 180 and we can keep adding 180 or minusing 180 to generate the infinite number of answers. Okay, so let's summarize what we've just done. So for sine, after you get the first answer, you do 180 minus that answer. Or in radians, that's pi minus the first answer. For cos, it's 360 minus the first answer. Or in radians, 2 pi minus the first answer. And for tan, we just keep on adding 180 or in radians, adding on pi or taking away pi, and that will give us our answers. And then we can always add or take away 360 to generate more. Okay, so let's have a look at a question. So here we've got solve sine x equals 0 0.3 for when x is between 0 and 2 pi. So what that tells us, what this tells us, is we're going to be working in radians. So the first thing we need to do is make sure our calculator is in the radians mode. So it's got R at the top of the screen. So we change our calculator into radians and then we carry on as normal. So X is shift sign 0 0.3. So shift sign 0 0.3 and that gives us 0 0.305 to three significant figures. So that's our first answer. To get the next answer in sine, that's 180 minus the first answer. So in radians, pi minus the first answer. So pi minus answer, and that gives us 2.84 to three significant figures. So between 0 and 2 pi, that's both of our answers. So we've got 0 0.305 and 2.84. Okay, here we've got a question. Solve cos 2x plus 1 equals 0 0.8 for between 0 and 2 pi. So it's between 0 and 2 pi, so we know it's in radians. So we need to make sure that our calculator is in the radians mode. And then we can carry on with the question. So cos 2x plus 1 equals 0 0.8. So we can't shift cos. We can't do the inverse of cos because there's also a plus 1 on that side of the equation. So we're going to get rid of that first. 
And we're going to do that by subtracting 1 from both sides. So cos 2x equals minus 0 0.2. Now we've just got cos with the angle, so we can shift cos minus 0 0.2. And we get our first answer. So 2x equals, we're going to write down the whole answer because we're not done using it in the question yet. So 2x equals the first answer of 1.772154428. Now we're in cos. To generate the second answer, we're going to do 2 pi minus the first answer. So 2 pi minus the first answer, 2 pi minus answer, and that gives us 4.511. 03106. So we've got two answers now between 0 and 2 pi. But because they're 2x, we're going to have to half them. So we're actually going to need to generate more answers so that when we half them, they're between 0 and 2 pi. So we're going to get a third answer. So we're going to take the first one and add 2 pi onto it. So take the first answer add 2 pi, and you should get 8.055339555. And we're going to take the second answer, and we're going to add 2 pi onto that as well. So that gives us 10.794216. So now I've got my four answers, and I'm going to have to half all of them to give me my answers in between, or my answers for x. So these are 2x, so I'm going to half them, and that'll be x. So halving them all, so I'm going to give them answers to three significant figures now. So half of the first one, 0 0.886. Half of the second one, 2.26. Half of the third one, 4.03. And finally, half of the last one is 5.40. And there we have it. So four answers in between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so here's another question. Uh, maybe pause the video, see if you can give this one a go. Okay, so the first thing we need to notice, we've got sine 2x plus 1 equals 1 1.4 between 0 and 360 degrees. So we're, we're going to be in degrees this time. So we need to change our calculator mode back to degrees. So we've got sine 2x plus 1 equals 1.4. So you want sine with the angle by itself. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. And that will leave us with sine 2x equals 0 0.4. Then we can shift sine. So shift sine 0 0.4. And I'll write down the whole answer. So 23. Point Five seven eight one seven eight four eight. So there's our first answer, and we've got sine. So we're going to do 180 minus that, which would be our second answer of 156.4218215. So again, it's 2x. So we're going to have to generate twice as many answers. So we're going to add 360 onto both of these. So the first one plus 360, 383.5781715. 3, and 360 onto the second one, 516.4218. 5. So that's 2x. So to get 
our answers, we're going to half them all. So the first one divided by two um, to three significant figures, or one the one decimal place we'll give them. So 11.8, 78.2, 100.5, 